Hey kids, Christina Previtt here from New Jersey Divorce Solutions. Today is day five of my 30 day video challenge. This is the third time I'm trying this video. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Maybe because it's Saturday. I'm not feeling very articulate. So I'm just gonna get right into it. What I really wanna talk about because it's been on my mind a lot over the past day or two is this idea that you should be very deliberate in who you allow into your universe and not allow toxic people into your universe. And you know, even more than that, you should be very discriminating in who you allow into your immediate environment. You want people who lift you up, people who are a good influence, people who inspire you to be a better person, not someone who feeds into negative qual qualities that we have. Like for instance, if you, your instinct is to just be lazy and never go to the gym or just eat whatever you want when you know that that's not really the person that you want to be in the world, maybe it's time to limit your interaction with those people. That's something that, that I've experienced recently trying to eat healthier and go to the gym religiously and work on my body. It can be really difficult to do that when you are around someone who does not encourage you to do that. You know, there are some people that'll just say, oh, you only live once, just eat the ice cream. Or, oh, you can go back on your diet tomorrow. Is that person really doing anything good for you? I mean, shouldn't they really be saying, you know what, I support you and I encourage you to stick to this goal that you have of getting a better body and stick to your diet and you know, I'm not saying they have to sit there and eat whatever you're eating, but <sighs> query, should they really be saying, oh, don't worry about it. I know you've been on a diet for 30 days, but just throw that out the window and eat whatever you want. Because think about it, if they're saying that, what else are they saying to you? Are they encouraging you to go do other things that you really want to do? Are they encouraging you to be your best person? Are they inspiring you to do that? Are they influencing you in any good way to do that? Be very careful of that. Spend a little time really thinking and reflecting on who you have around you and what kind of influence do they have on you? Are they positive or are they negative? There are people that have a problem for every solution. Every single thing you say you want to do or any great idea that you think you have, they're right there to tell you, oh, that won't work. You know, that won't work. You can't do that. Is that their immediate reaction? Because if it is, really think about why is this person in my life? What are they offering me? Are they actually helping me to be a better person or are they holding me back in some way? Because that is up to you. You can't blame them. It's up to you. It's up to you who you have in your life. It's up to you how you choose to think, do, be, and have, right? And obviously, since I'm a divorce lawyer, I have to talk about what about your spouse? How is your spouse, where does your spouse fit into your universe? Does your spouse encourage you to be your best, to, to have bigger aspirations for yourself, whatever they may be? Are they encouraging you or are they holding you back? So take stock of that. Spend a little time really thinking about that. It can be very difficult to acknowledge to ourselves that there is somebody in our life that is toxic. We may love them. We may have a long history with them. We may feel sorry for them. We may feel guilty trying to distance ourselves from this person, but maybe it's what we really need to do for ourselves. And you do need to put yourself first sometimes. 
So with that, I will leave you with your weekend and I'm very fascinated by this subject. So I would love to hear your comments and your input. Just leave them in the comments or you can private message me. Um, this is something I really like to talk about and I'm very interested in what you all think. Talk to you soon.